Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's show is lemon pasta. This is inspired by a new friend of mine from the internet. He's a news reporter and he works for Google as an associate like I do. And he reports on fire scenes and uh, this is a recipe that he suggested. Of course, you know me, I have to modify it. So I'm going to put my own twist on it. So here we go. I have water boiling. I'm going to take my pasta, take any kind of noodles you want. I buy those fresh packages like that. You want to cook it for about eight minutes once it starts to boil. So I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes and then I'm going to set it there and hit start once it, it starts to reboil again. Now the ingredients are going to be lemon juice, lime juice, take your pick, cheese, I'm making this easy, whether it's for everybody coming home from work and you want a quick meal, or you know, single, single guys, uh, mothers that have to cook in a hurry, so I'm using packaged cheese as well. And then I recommend that you put in some kind of cream. So you know when you go to restaurants, you get these little cream things, you get these little extra things, or if you get any takeout and they send them with your coffee cream. And it's the same thing with mayonnaise from the sandwich shop, which will be unnamed. You get these with your sandwich and you don't use them all and you got a thousand of them in your refrigerator, well let's use it up. This is a good time to use it up. And then for garlic, I would use at least three cloves of garlic. Um, I checked the internet and there's all kinds of recipes for this, so just kind of take your pick of what you want to do. As a rule, I like to use at least three garlic in my recipes. So we'll just knock off the ends of these like this. Starting to boil, sounds like. Now when it starts to boil, you have to put your salt in. And somebody on the internet said to put in a teaspoon, um, roughly. I don't know that I use that much salt, but that was something that I saw in somebody's recipe. So, I'm just going to clean this garlic really fast while that comes up to a boil and we'll start dumping the stuff in the pan. And then in eight minutes, we will have a quick pasta. And like he says, you know, this is a one pan thing, doesn't make a mess, it's ready in a hurry. You can have food for a week if you make enough of it. Um, I'm adding basil also. This particular one is Mexican basil. They tell me that if you buy oregano or basil in North America, chances are you're going to get Mexican basil. That's what my friends that work in restaurants tell me. So let's put some of that in there like that. Boiling, just put in the salt. I'm using garlic salt. Maybe I'll put in a little bit of regular salt. And then olive oil. Use up the rest of the bottle. Then mayonnaise. I'm not going to use the cream since I use the mayonnaise. Lemon, probably about a cap. I wouldn't put too much of this in. It's pretty, pretty strong. I can leave that out and wash that cap so it don't get stuck. Then I just need to do my garlic. Just put it near the end here. Smash it. Eight or ten minutes, I don't think it'll make a big difference. I've seen 
recipes on the internet where they say 12 minutes. I think what you're supposed to do is check the package of the pasta that you're buying. Because different pastas have to be cooked for different amounts of time depending on how fresh it is. This pasta that I'm buying is fresh. It's, it's soggy when you get it. It's not dried out. So this is made and brought to the store to be sold as, as fresh. Let's just let that sit for a minute and I will grab some tongs here to kind of start to toss it around a little bit. My noodles apart here. Oodles and oodles of noodles. Of course when you do this it lowers the temperature of the pot and boiling slows down. Which is okay. No big deal. Now you can make other things with this. Okay, you might make zucchini, which is which is just wash the zucchini, cut it up like silver dollars, maybe cut them in half, then cut them up. Put them in a pan with some olive oil, maybe some garlic, maybe some onions. Fry those up, that would be really good with this. This could be a good side dish if you're doing a main meal and you want to use this as a side dish. You could do that as well. Okay, I'll bet this is all mixed. Thoroughly mixed now. Let's just leave that and let that go and let's see what happens. So you just let this sit now, just let it cook, see what it does. It's been boiling for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in now. Didn't want to put it in earlier because I don't want it to be too far gone. So turn off my timer, turn off my burner. Just threw in my butter. You don't even have to take the paper off. It'll it'll come off when it's ready. <laughs> yes, it's ready. <laughs> you throw that butter in, in hot water, that paper comes off in a hurry. Okay, now that butter will just sit in there and melt like that. I'm going to pull it off the hot burner, put it on a cool one, let it cruise for just a couple of minutes. While that's going, I'm going to make some squash. You know, when you're cooking one thing, you might as well cook another. And this squash I'm going to cook ahead for tomorrow's dinner. Right dish. So I'm going to make a squash. Now it's real easy to make these. All you do is you cut the squash, you put some olive oil and salt and pepper on it, you put it on a baking sheet with the parchment paper, and I buy the parchment paper at the grocery store in these boxes, I get them where they're pre-made for a cookie sheet. Very helpful, so you don't have to cut or mess with them. And there's really nothing to this. I preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and then I just put it in for about 20 minutes. So the hard thing is to cut these. These little rascals are tough. So just be careful. Cut the middle, nice and slow, like I'm doing there. See, straight down. And then pull down. Same slot. Use a big knife. Make sure it's a sharp one. There you go. Hmm. Looks like it has a bean sprout in it. Smells good. Mm, how about that, huh? Well, here we go. Baking sheet, olive oil, and of course, as luck would have it, I have a brand new olive oil. Thank you to my sister, who sends me my olive oil as I stall while I take the plastic off. And I was saying to myself last night as I put it here, I should open this so that I don't have to struggle with it during the show. 
Actually, I got lucky though, because it came off easy. Sometimes when you try to do this, when you're doing a show, things don't go too easy. So here we go. I'm going to put it over here, over the baking sheet, just like this. Sprinkle some oil on it. Just like that. I keep this in a glass so it doesn't leak on your kitchen counter. It's like an orange juice glass. And then here is pepper. And here is salt. Just like this. Just like this, all you gotta do is throw it in the oven. Well, the pasta is all cooked. Here we go. I didn't even drain it. I just let it sit there for a minute and cool off. I've heard cooks say they don't run it under cold water. They just take it off the burner and serve it up in the plate. So here we go. This is a lot of pasta. This is probably enough for two in this package. Or I might have leftovers. Let's see. Let's see how much it makes, just that one package. That'll be good for a hearty eater. But I'll bet the package was made for two people. Okay, there you go. That's my show for the day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.